Hello learners, I am Karan Kohli from the Department of Accounting and Finance, Ketakur College, New Panvel. Uh, first of all, welcome to my cost accounting, practical cost accounting channel. Today, in this session, uh, I am delivering lecture on the contract costing. In this session, we are all cover all the theoretical and the practical aspects which are regarding which are regarding with the contract costing. Uh, slide number first. I am sharing with you elements cover under this session. Uh, first of all, introduction, and then second, meaning and definition of the contract costing, then applicability of the contract costing, features of contract costing, then accounting procedure of the contract costing, and then uh, last part, but very very important part, calculation of the notional profit. Then first point is there contract costing what is meaning of the contract costing introduction of the contract costing contract costing is the approach used in the firm when non repetitive contracts we are executed on the regular basis it is a type of the particular order costing that is used for the project last more than one year see so as per the introduction contract costing it is a type of the job costing used where for the completion take more than one year and then next meaning of the contract costing contract costing is a special type of the job costing where the unit of the cost is single contract the contract itself is the cost center and is executed under the customer specification it is completed according to the customer specification and the customer order then definition of the contract costing contract costing is defined as that from a specific order costing wherein work is carried out in according with the customer special requirement and the customer special requirement is fulfilled then contract work is done then next applicability of the contract costing so in the introduction and the in the meaning of the contract costing we are talking um, contract take more than one year so uh, this is type of costing is applicable where uh, in the building construction and the shipping ship building construction and the engineering work then features of the contract costing contract takes a long time for the completion then work is executed at the customer side all work can be done at the customer site and it take more than one accounting year then generally a portion of the contract is given to the subcontractor what is mean subcontractor so contractor is only work only for the specific but other work they say uh, that means floor furnishing and then lift working then electricity work okay now uh, for this work uh, contractor appointed as a special subcontractor so that expenses should be recorded to the contract as a subcontract subcontracting expenses then number four since the contract take a number of year to the complete the problem of taking profit arise therefore we are using here contract costing because uh, contract take more than one year and then uh, one in the one accounting year we are publishing all record which are related to the firm which are related to the organization to the government for the taxation purpose therefore contract uh, therefore contract workers using contract costing for the calculating notional profit and then accounting procedure of the contract we will going to the first uh, with the format of the contract account yeah it is a debit side of the contract account and it is a credit side of the contract account see here first element is the two material material recorded to the debit contract account but in that material as per your examination point of view material they are not saying two material they say into you material issue from the store yes and then material purchased from the market okay these are the very important point for your practical session the material issue from the store 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 from the store uh, it should be recorded see it is a debited to the contract account but as per the store requisition as per the store requisition it is it is recorded to the contract account then when the material is not available in the store 
when the material is not available in the store so that time hame purchase karna padta hai market se so that, see so uh, as per the purchase requisition it should be recorded contract account debited side and then sometimes uh, material transfer from the other contract so material transfer from the it is the third part of the material so this is the three uh, points which are related to the material then wages wages the expenditure of the labor it should be recorded to the debit then outstanding hum add karenge then plant issue then machinery issue then then direct expenses then indirect expenses see then subcontract expenses then profit on sales of material and profit and sales of assets it should be recorded to the debited to the contract account then it is a very important part a work in progress it include work certified then work uncertified what is meaning of the work work certified work certified means the it is a value certificate given by the architecture ki how much work is completed perfectly completed architecture is appointed behalf of the contractor it is very important point so work certified so value consider as per the certificate given by the contractor and it should be credited to the contract account work certified is to be calculated as per the formula there are the two formulas first is there contract price into percentage of the work certified then other formula is there when they given to you cash receipt and being cash receipt percentage of the work certified then we use second formula cash receipt divided by percentage of the work certified this is the second formula is a very important formula for the calculation of the work certified then work uncertified that means uh, architect not given some portion of the some portion value of the certificate from the work completed so this is considered as a work uncertified this recorded credited to the contract account then abnormal loss then plan destroyed plan destroyed plan destroyed is credited to the contract account then material loss or trip then uske baad material return to the store then material at site material at site plant at site should be recorded to the credit side into the contract account then what is the reason behind it uh, we are is there uh, prepare contract account the final result of the contract account is a notional profit it is very important notional profit calculate Uh, there are the two formulas first of all notional profit is equal to notional profit is equal to work certified see work certified minus work certified minus cost of work till date cost of work till date minus minus uncertified work minus uncertified work and then another formula is there notional profit is equal to work certified minus cost of work till date it is a depend upon the situation it is a depend upon the illustration then we are going to the next notional profit see it is a result of the notional profit uh, it is a result of the contract costing uh, notional profit is a result of the contract costing and no, notional profit we Uh, carry forward to the profit and loss account but it is depend upon the condition see there are the four condition according to that we are transferring notional profit into the profit and loss account there are the four condition see percentage of the work certified it is very important see notional profit suppose we are we are calculating is the debited notional profit then next step is notional profit transfer to the profit and loss account as per the condition so first of all i am presenting with you uh, 25% 25% and less than 50% so what is this is the percentage of the work certified this is the percentage of the work certified work certified ka percentage calculation it's a very important for the calculating no uh, for the uh, distributing notional profit into the profit and loss account and the reserve see is there work certified divided by uh, contract price in in 200 this is the exactly formula of the calculating of the work certificate then we are going to the next condition according to the that condition we are going to uh, distribute it notional profit into the profit and loss account and the uh, and the reserve see suppose 
वर्क सर्टिफाइड इज अस दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट सी वॉट इज अ कंडीशन नंबर वन वर्क सर्टिफाइड इज अ लेस दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट सो नो प्रॉफिट ट्रांसफर टू दी एंड पी एंड पी एंड एल अकाउंट इंटायर अमाउंट एज अ ट्रीटेड रिजर्व देन कंडीशन नंबर टू इट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट एंड लेस दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट तो वन थर्ड इन टू नोशनल प्रॉफिट इन टू कैश रिसीव डिवाइड बाई वर्क सर्टिफाइड देन थर्ड कंडीशन इट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी परसेंट एंड लेस दैन नाइनटी परसेंट देन टू थर्ड इन टू नोशनल प्रॉफिट इन टू कैश रिसीव डिवाइड बाई वर्क सर्टिफाइड देन कंडीशन नंबर फोर इट इज इक्वल टू नाइनटी परसेंट एंड मोर देन सो दिस इज अ डिफरेंट फॉर्मुला फ्रॉम द अब थ्री फॉर्मुला बिकॉज इज देयर वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग एस्टिमेटेड प्रॉफिट बिकॉज इज देयर कंप्लीट नाइंटी परसेंट एंड लेस देन हंड्रेड परसेंट तो अकॉर्डिंग टू थेटिकल नॉर्म्स वी आर वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग इज देर नो सॉरी एस्टिमेटेड प्रॉफिट estimated profit into cash received divided by contract price so what is the formula of the estimated profit estimated profit is equal to contract price minus estimated cost yes so dear learners this is a exactly uh, practical uh, practical and theoretical norms of the contract costing uh, which i am uh, presenting to you and then next next session of the uh, con, uh, cost accounting to i am delivering lecture on the practical session thank you